I think you should try it. Jan decided <laughs> I have to go for the cray grab. Oh, and I don't even know if I can reach the board. Yo, 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 peace everyone and welcome back to a new Freischi series. We are still at Lake Como and for today we have something very, very cool in mind. We want to shoot another kind of challenging vlog. The idea of today's video is basically how many different back row to blinds am I able to do? The back row to blind is quite a easy freestyle trick but depending on the grabs and the combinations you are adding into this trick it can get very very sketchy and yeah I lately did an Instagram clip where I kind of tried a few different back to blinds I think it was four different back to blinds but I think I can do many many more I never did it so I will learn a lot today and you guys will join me the setup for today will be of course my bolt 142 with boots my 50 square meter Nexus and my 13.5 square meter. I really don't know what we're gonna have today. I think it's gonna be more of a 13.5, but yeah, just in case, we're gonna take the 15 as well. And you see over there is gonna be the spot for today. The tide of the lake is very very high at the moment due to the rain. We have a lot of rain at the moment. The downside is the water is very choppy and it is a little bit sketchy to find a good takeoff. But I think I'm able to find a few good takeoffs once in a while. Yeah, the rules are very simple. These are the rules of today's game. I can try as many different back to blinds as I want as long as I don't crash three times in a row. As I crashed one trick the third time, the game will be over. I had quite some comments from you guys. How am I filming the line? perspective this is actually the mount it's from a brand called you go and yeah this is actually the mount I'm using for all my shots the cool thing is it's kind of always with you like focus on you and your riding the whole session and it doesn't really feel like filming it's more like riding and at the end of the sessions you have like hours of content let's start with a quick warm-up and then we go straight into the back to blind mission. Let's do this. There is one very sketchy fact about this spot. I just realized it right now because the water is so high. There is no headland and I have to jump very close to the trees. And the trees are kind of changing the wind, so the kite really pulls up. So you need to have in mind to pull the kite down. Let's start with the classic back row to blind. Then I will do a back row to blind with a tail grab. And then I will come back to see what's coming next. Let's go. Like the wind behind the trees is shit. 
So the next one is a shifty bag to glide. It's also a trick I really really like to do and it looks very very stylish. You kind of shift very far into the bag roll and then you turn very far back into glide. the nose grab it looks very simple but it is extremely technical the reason therefore is that you kind of switch the hands you kind of hold the bar with the back hand do the nose grab switch back to the bar with the front hand and go into blind it's extremely technical and it's all about body tension and timing everything together I already had one crash and I was like fuck only two more we made it sick done now the next trick it's also very technical it's a back to blind indie grab and the sketchy thing about this trick is that you kind of really lean with your whole body into the back roll but then at the same time like to reach the board but then at the same time you need to turn back that's very very technical Let's see if I can make this with only three crashes. take it yeah before we went with kiting today Jan and I were talking about different grabs and Jan told me about the melon grab what is basically the heel side of the board through the legs I never ever tried that so now it's getting it's getting interesting guys back to blind melon grab <laughs> Check it quick. Let's check the replay. I think I think so. Really? I, look, I actually just checked it. Looks great. Definitely not the best execution, but we decided it counts. The next trick is a back to blind stay fish grab. This as well, I've never tried it, and I think it is very very sketchy. It's kind of grabbing the board at the same place than in the melon grab, but kind of behind the legs. Like the hand goes like this and grabs the board. I think it's very, very sketchy. Let's give it a go. What about the crane grab? Wow, oh, that, that one, that that would be a challenge. Okay. I think, <laughs> I think you should try it. You undecided? <laughs> I have to go for the crane grab. 
Oh, and I don't even know if I can reach the board. And Fuck. Uh, it's kind of the backhand goes to the nose of the board on the tip. So That's crazy. Potential outtake material. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Crab grab, here we go. But, bro, I think I understood how this grab works. I really have to bend the front leg knee to the right chest. And then you can do like, like this. Wow, it's impossible. Okay, let's go. I can do seven different back to blinds, but I'm sure a few more tries and I will be able to nail that Krager. this time such a cool experience kind of training new tricks with you together and thanks to Jan I had a couple of nice ideas I never ever tried a back to blind melon grab and a back to blind sailfish grab and I think those two tricks are definitely part of my list now so as always I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you liked it hit the like button below subscribe if you haven't yet and I hope to see you soon next Monday 12 a.m. Ach, ist es geil. So Sachen müssen wir wieder mehr machen. Ach, ist das eine Freude. Es pusht einen auch einfach, neue yeah. Tricks zu lernen. Ah, Junge, ich liebe meinen Job. <lacht>